has been a minute since I've done a sit down video with information that would like help you do things. I've been doing a lot of vlogging mostly because I haven't had time to sit down and talk to you. In this video, I want to talk about, I did a video before about my schedule in medical school, kind of talking about the specifics. And in this video, I want to focus on how much free time I have in medical school versus like how much time I'm spending studying. So in the same way, I'm gonna kind of go through my schedule, but talk about, about how much time a day throughout the week I'm spending on schoolwork and then what I'm able to do with my free time. One thing I will mention before I start this is everything is very fluctuating in medical school. So some weeks are busier than others. Some of these events will be canceled on one week or they'll be double loaded on the other week. So it really just depends. But going off of my busiest week, I will give you an example of that week and kind of show you like the minimum amount of free time that I might have on a given week. So I'm gonna start with Monday. From 7.30 to 9.30, there is a required session. So I'm spending two hours in required sessions. There's usually two lectures and then I try to spend about about four hours studying um, at minimum on Mondays because I want to get both of my CBL cases done which take an hour and a half and then work on my learning communities post which takes me about an hour so just trying to get all of the like tasks for the week done on Monday I think sets me up well so I spend about eight hours doing school related stuff and then I try to work out about every day I think like every now and again I'll take a rest day I usually do this on the weekends but so yeah I'm Monday's about eight hours. I think Mondays are the best days in medical school, to be completely honest, because we get done with stuff at noon, which makes it a lot easier to get a bunch of work done in the afternoon and then feel like a real human and have some room to do activities. So Tuesdays are a little bit different. We have four lectures. So we have four hours of lecture on Tuesdays. And then I have a thing called SELA, which is where we see, we either see standardized patients or we're practicing clinical skills on real patients in the hospital and that is a two hour session. I have clinic on Wednesday, but because I am responsible for some of the clinical care and taking um, the history and spending a lot of time with the patients, I prep for clinic, which takes me an hour minimum to prep for clinic. And so that's another thing that I have to do on Tuesdays. So then I try to study like two to four hours, just depending on my energy level on Tuesday. So that means I'm spending about anywhere from nine to 11 hours um, doing schoolwork. And then again, trying to work out if possible. I do try to get up decently early and go to bed decently early, but medical school has been pushing my limits. <laughs> so I'm trying, but Tuesdays are really busy. Wednesdays are also very busy. So again, we have the seven to nine or 7.30 to 9.30 required session. We have two lectures and then I have clinic on Wednesdays, which is a four hour event. So from one to 5 p.m. I'm in clinic, usually later than that because I work in primary care. So it's usually like one to six. And then I try to study for two to four hours so that I'm spending anywhere from 11 to 13 hours on Wednesday doing medical school related things, which is about all of the time that I spend awake on Wednesdays. And that's not including my commute, that's not including time to eat and those sorts of things. So yikes. Wednesdays are very, very busy. Thursdays, we have four lectures. Those are super, super long. And then I usually have lab on Thursday, which is two hours. And then again, trying to study for two to four hours, which means I'm spending anywhere from eight to 10 hours studying or or doing school related things on Thursdays. And then Fridays are arguably the worst <laughs> because we're on campus for nine and a half hours. So we have nine and a half hours of required things on Fridays and I, I wish they would have chosen Monday for that or any other day because then we have three quizzes in the weekend. So it would have been, I feel like it would be preferable to have nine and a half hours required on Monday. That would make Monday suck, but then Friday I could spend the afternoon studying and maybe get my quiz done so that my whole weekend isn't occupied. So anyway, that's for me to complain to the curriculum committee about. So that means that during a, any given week, I'm spending like at minimum, eight hours at maximum, like 13 or 14 hours working on stuff, which which gives me a little bit of wiggle room. I am able to exercise. I'm exercising quite a bit right now, probably five or six days a week, which I'm really enjoying. I think it gives me time outside of medical school to do things. I think with COVID, what I do with my free time is not super interesting because we're not really allowed to do anything with our free time, but there is certainly some time to work on yourself and work on hobbies, obviously like YouTube is sometimes a little bit of a time sink for me to like be editing videos, but I, there is room in my schedule to do that. And then on the weekends, 
some weekends are really free and some weekends are really busy. So this weekend, for example, I feel like it's gonna be very, very busy because we have exams coming up in two weeks. And so um, I've been studying about all day. I actually haven't gone outside once today. <laughs> it's like 4 p.m. So I'm studying for my quiz right now. So you can spend all day Saturday studying. You can spend all day Sunday studying. It just depends on how hard the quizzes are supposed to be that week or what's coming up. But then some weeks when the exam isn't as close, you might have even like a full day on the weekend where you don't need to study. So it all just depends. But working on balance in medical school is something that I think everybody, including me, has to achieve. So I'm just rambling at this point. I thought it would be interesting. I thought you guys would want to know maybe like where I'm spending my time and kind of what the time commitment does look like in medical school. I know like Vandy will tell you that you get out of class at noon most days, which you do kind of, but you mostly have other commitments. And so don't let them lie to you. But also like if that is how you're making decisions. For example, I originally had my dog here with me because I was told that we would get out of class at noon and people go home and they can spend lots of time doing X, Y, and Z, but that is certainly not the case. So um, when making decisions about medical school, something to keep in mind, but also know that like there is room for you to be a human, but you have to make room to do that. So that's an intentional choice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and that this was helpful for you, hopefully a little bit insightful. And if you aren't already subscribed, feel free to do so so you can follow along with the med school journey. Like this video if you liked it and please feel free to leave comments or questions in the comment section below. I love hearing from you and I would love to make videos that are tailored more to what you want to see. But until next time, that's all I have for you. Bye!